Welcome everyone. In this video, I will show you how to solve inequalities in one variable. For my first example, I have x minus 3 is greater than 11. The approach to solve these inequalities is to solve them the same way you will solve linear equation in one variable. So the goal is to isolate x. You want x alone to be on one side of the inequality sign. So we have x is greater than 11 plus 3. You have a minus 3 here on the left hand side. I bring it over to the right hand side. It becomes plus 3. So x is greater than 14. And you can check your answer. You can substitute a value for x that is greater than 14 into the original inequality. And if the left hand side is greater than the right hand side, then your solution is correct. So let's, let's do a quick check. Let's substitute the value of 15 because 15 is greater than 14. So if I substitute 15 into the original inequality, I have 15 minus 3 is greater than 11. Well, that's true. 15 minus 3 is 12. 12 is greater than 11. And therefore, this solution for my inequality is correct. Let's move on to example number 2. I have 7x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 1 is less than or equal to 18. Remember the goal is to isolate x. So you want x alone to be on one side of the inequality sign. So let us expand the bracket here. So you have 7x minus 2 multiplied by x is minus 2x and minus 2 multiplied by positive 1 that's minus 2 is less than or equal to 18. 7x minus 2x is 5x. Minus 2 is less than or equal to 18. So now I have 5x is less than or equal to 18 plus 2. This is a minus 2 here on the left hand side. I bring it over to the right hand side. It becomes plus 2. And now 5x is less than or equal to 20. Therefore, x is less than or equal to 20 divided by 5. Then I have x is less than or equal to 4 because 20 divided by 5 is 4. And this will be a solution. Again, you can always check a value that is less than or equal to 4. Plug it in or substitute it in the original inequality and if the left hand side is less than or equal to the right hand side then your solution is true. You can check that for an extra exercise. Let's move on to example 3. We have 2x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 8x minus um, x multiplied by x minus 1. So let us isolate x. We want x to be on one side of the inequality. I choose it. I choose x to be on the left hand side of my inequality sign. So I'm going to I'm going to combine all of my terms with x on the left hand side of my inequality sign. So now I have 2x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 8x. Let's expand this bracket here. So this is, pretend that this is a minus one. So minus one multiplied by x, that's minus x. And minus one multiplied by minus one, that's positive one. So now I have two x. I'm gonna bring this x, 8x over and this minus x over. So it becomes minus 8x and plus x is greater than or equal to 1. Bring this 
plus 3 here from the left hand side, bring it over to the right hand side, it becomes minus 3. So let's simplify this. 2x minus 8x, that's 6x, plus 2x minus 8x, that's minus 6x, plus x, that's minus 5x, is greater than or equal to minus 2. And therefore, x, to find x, you divide both sides by negative 5. Now there's one thing here. When you're dividing by a negative number, you change the inequality sign. Okay? So now you have x is less than or equal to 2 over 5. Let's just show this again. Before I have negative 5x is greater than or equal to negative 2. I'm trying to find the value for x. Now, to find the value for x, I have to divide by the coefficient of x, which is negative 5. So I divide by both sides by negative 5. Okay? So that cancels that. So I leave back with x. Now, when it comes to inequality, if you divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number, you have to change the inequality sign. So now it's greater than, it becomes less than or equal to. So negative 2 divided by negative 5, that's positive 2 over 5. And that's your answer. This is your answer here x is less than or equal to 2 over 5. Okay, so that's it for this video.